Now it's important that when you do this, see this little arrow right here? That needs to be facing towards the exhaust port, so it needs to be facing down. Lubricate the wrist pin. Now these little dig out sections right here need to go around this pin right here. And that's it, as easy as that. So we're going to take a piece of solder, squish it between the piston and the cylinder head, and then measure the squished area of the solder and see how thick it is. And that'll tell us the clearance between the piston and the cylinder head. And that's what checking the squish is. I'm aiming for 0.8 millimeter. Top the sticks. Now we'll check and see if it's touching. Here it is. Oh yeah, squished it pretty good actually. Okay, let's get digital calipers to see it's been squished. We need to add 0.3 on, on top of whatever this gasket is. So this is 0.5, so we need a 0.8 gasket for 0.8 spacing, that's crazy. New nuts, new studs, new cylinder kit, new crank, new bearings. Everything's installed correctly, operating smoothly, the clearance is set. This is good. Now the last thing is just getting the reed valves in and the new intake manifold that we've got. All right, so it's been about 14 hours, I think, since we put the engine together. So the Honda bonds are time to set. I'm going to just tighten down this bolt and this nut right here, and then we can do what's known as an air leak down test. We'll be using this gauge, this exhaust blanking plate. But before we do the air leak down test, I set the squish to around 0.8 yesterday. In the instructions, it says 0.6 to 0.7. I could have sworn that it was 0.8 from what I'd, I'd read somewhere this week. And then obviously reading it again, it says 0.6. It's completely safe to run it at 0.8. It's less compression. It just means I might have a little bit less power than if I was running at 0.6. We're not going to pull the head back off unless we actually need to today because of an air leak related issue. If we do, then I'll measure the squish again one more time and maybe try and get it to 0 0.6, 0 0.7. For now, let's do the air leak down test and see if we've got any air leaks the first thing i'm going to do is just make sure that the piston is at bottom dead center and that's bottom dead center right there and now we can put this rubber bung and metal block over the exhaust port and clamp it down when i applied honda bond and i tightened everything up really tight straight away it didn't seal it took me two or three attempts last year to get this to seal up so now i just tighten everything loosely and then the next day tighten it nice and tight against the honda bond We've got the spark plug in, we've got the exhaust blocked, we've got the piston at the bottom dead center. We just need to stick this gauge into the end of here and we can pump this up to six PSI and then wait 30 minutes. If the gauge goes down, we've got air leaks in 30 minutes. If there's no air leaks, the engine can go back in the bike today.